Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I know I haven't been here for a while. I've been going through some stuff here at home and um, I just haven't been up to it. I've had this stuff all laid out on my table here for a few days and I just haven't had it in me to record a video, but I'm hoping this is going to make me feel better because I love talking to you guys and showing you all the great things I get at the Dollar Tree. So hopefully this will brighten my day and your day a little bit both. Um, I, and I just went to record my video. YouTube keeps changing the way you create videos. Like I always was creating my videos through the YouTube app and I was doing it one way for the longest time. And then they changed it and I was doing it that way. And now I just went to the thing that I pressed the last time I recorded and it goes to upload a video and you hit upload a video and it goes to videos you already recorded. So I'm recording this through my camera and hopefully I'll be able to upload this um, onto the my YouTube channel. Anyway. I got, first thing I want to show you guys before I even get started, this isn't Dollar Tree, but I was so excited. I went to Target the other day and, um, you know, scoping around and I go see some clearance bedding, right? And what do I find but flamingo sheets? What? Oh my God, aren't they gorgeous? Love them. And I paid $8.39 for a, a full-size set of sheets. Can you believe that? Flamingo sheets for eight bucks. Oh my God, I was so excited. I was like, I am not leaving these here. Uh, the first ones I picked up were for uh, a twin-size bed. And I was like, dang, I don't have a twin-size bed. And then I saw these, and it's a full-size bed, and I'm like, shoot, my bed is a queen-size bed. And then I was like, oh, the bed in my spare bedroom, the second spare bedroom, there's Caroline's room, and then there's another spare bedroom, is a full-size bed. I, I was like stewing. I was like, I can't leave these. I, I'm going to get them no matter what. And then I was like, oh, my God, that bed in the other room. Oh, my God. Love them. So always check the clearance sections in uh, Target. They're usually like on an end cap. Sometimes if you just go down an aisle and you spot these yellow stickers, that's their clearance stuff. Now some of their clearance stuff is really not all that clearance, but these sheets were $27.99 and I got them for $8.39. They're so soft too. I wish they fit my bed, but... um. They will fit the spare bedroom upstairs. And when somebody comes to visit me, they can have a flamingo experience. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I just knew you'd be so excited about it. I also have some friend mail here that I hope I can get to by the end of the video if this doesn't run too long. Want to show you the first thing that I have in my thumbnail picture. Look at these bins. Look at these. I got it in the turquoise and I got it. You can't really see the color on this, but it is actually a bright pink. The color does not do it any justice. This is pink. It looks uh, peach in my video. I don't know how it looks to you guys, but it's a really nice soft pink. These would be great for um, a baby shower or something. You could put the gift in there and... They, then they would have it and the, they could put the kids toys in here or, you know, extra diapers or whatever. They'd be great for the beach. Oh my God. Yeah. They, they have like holes in them. So you could, you know, put your toys that the kids play in the sand in. You could put your wet bathing suits in there after you go, you know, to the pool or something. Uh, they're just amazing. You could even use them as Easter baskets if you wanted. You know, they'd be a cute little basket to put all their Easter stuff in. And then they have a little basket to put their toys or whatever in. So I got two of the pink and two of this 
beautiful, beautiful blue. I absolutely love this turquoise. It also came in gray and like a peach color. This looks peach, but it's really not. If it, I mean, if it's coming up pink, I'm glad, but there's a pink and then there's a, like a peach color, almost like coral. I'd say coral color. Yeah, but these are amazing. Amazing. And let me see. I did bring my my uh, ruler here. I keep saying ruler. It's a measuring tape. They are 13 inches long. 13 inches this way. So they're good. They're nice. They're huge. I love them. I saw them and I was like, what? I got to have those. So I have a bunch of Easter stuff here, which I'm going to show you guys first. I picked up this really cute burlap Easter ribbon, which I absolutely love. It says Happy Easter on it. I'm trying to get that glare off. Just really, really pretty. And it looks like that. And it's three yards. And I got two of them. Two of them. Actually, are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Just, I saw this Easter and I didn't see it on this one. But it is there. So, I got those. And this ribbon is uh, two and a half inches wide. So, I got that. I don't know that I'm going to get to any Easter DIY in this year. But, I'll have it for next year. Then, I found these cute little pails. Look at these. They have a lid that has like this rubber on it. I mean, it's not a real tight seal. I wouldn't want to put anything that would go stale in here. But how cute is that? It's got the little chick on it. And then I got this one that says bunnies be hopping in this bright pink. These are so cute. They are, these are uh, doo -doo -doo, like five and a half inches, five and a half inches from top to bottom. So cute. I couldn't resist them. And then I got this one with the eggs on it. This is a lighter pink and it says, so excited for Easter really cute. I got one for Madeline, one for Jordan, and one for Caroline. Evie won't get one because Evie doesn't eat candy. So I figured I'd fill them up with candy and put those in their Easter baskets. Then I got these little solar powered Easter uh, solar dancers. I got this little guy, look at this bunny with the hat and the egg. And then I got this guy, little lamb. Oh, his face is, the plastic is messing up his face. Well, he's cute. Look at him. I saw these, I was like, oh my God, I have to have those. I got to give those to the kids. Look at this little cutie patootie girl bunny with a little bow in her hair. Can you stand how cute they are? I can't. And then there's a duck. One for Evie, one for Caroline, one for Jordan, and one for Madeline. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. Then I picked up these Easter eggs couldn't resist them. They're little bunnies. I just had to have them. I actually bought two packages of them. There's four in a pack. So that works out perfect. Love them. They, they've had, they've had the kind of the same Easter eggs over the Last few years, yeah, last year I don't know that I bought a bunch of Easter eggs. Um, I couldn't remember anyway. If I had them, I put them in the kids' baskets and they went home with them. And I don't personally have them anymore. You know, they went with the kids in their baskets. So, I did have to get some new ones. 
excuse me. And then I found some Easter signs. I'm going to put these last because then I'm going to follow them with something else. I found this one that says Easter Bunny Egg Hunt and Jelly Bean Trail. How cute is that? And it's got the um, jute cord on it. Really super cute. So stinking cute. I can't even. Then I found the trucks. I found the pink truck with the bunny and it's got the little cottontail there. It says Happy Easter down here. You could take this off if you just wanted the truck. But it's got this nice little Happy Easter on it. And these are great to store. When you go to store them, you just fold them up and put them away. But I got the pink one and I got the blue one. I'll show them next to each other because so you can this one is filled with a bunny and a bunny butt and eggs, and this one's a bunny butt, a bunny butt and carrots. I like the way that sounds, a bunny butt. But they were too stinking cute. Love these trucks. Oh my God. They're, the pickup truck is on everything. It doesn't have to be a red truck to me, but just the pickup truck in general is, I just love it. Love it on everything. And then I found this big bad boy. Look at this one. Let me bring it up close so you can see. It's got the bunny and it's got the little raffia bow and it says Easter and there's his feet. Now this looks like it's galvanized, but it's not. It's just plain wood, but it looks it. It looks it. And this one is really big. This is, uh, let's see how big this is. This is two feet, two feet tall. A two-foot sign for a dollar, you guys. For a dollar. I just can't get over it. Can't get over the things I, you can get at the Dollar Tree. Then, I was able to pick up the gnome Easter signs. What? Look at how stinking cute this is. It's a gnome with bunny ears. And it says, welcome. And then there's a purple one that says, happy Easter. And he's got a polka dot hat. So cute. And a chocolate bunny. And then there was a blue one that says, happy Easter. And he's holding the carrot. I think this purple one is my favorite. I don't know though. I kind of like the pink one too. Not so much a fan of the blue one, but there's that one, that one. Let's see if I can show them all at once. And there was three different ones. These are the three that they have. And I was able to score all of them. Actually, I, was, I picked up two of each of them because I am bound and determined to do a giveaway this weekend. And one of the giveaways is a set of these gnomes. Yes, 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 yes. So stay tuned. If you've sent in your card, if it's here, then you're in the drawing. If uh, I check my mail on Saturday. I'm going to wait till Saturday at the, you know, at the earliest because I always check my mail on Saturday morning. Post office is open from 930 to 1230. I always go and get my mail on Saturday. I was able to go there earlier this week because uh, I went and got my first COVID shot. Yay. On uh, Wednesday. So after I got my COVID shot, I went to the post office and I picked up some mail. So excited. Um, so if you have sent your card in, it's in the basket already. If it's in here, it's going in the basket. So you have a chance to win the multiple giveaways that I am going to do this weekend. This weekend. Oh, and I wanted to tell you. You look. You might be looking at this baggy t-shirt, uh, sweatshirt that I'm wearing. 
<clears throat> I went to Walmart the other day and they had sweatshirts. Well, they didn't have too many sweatshirts, but they had sweatpants and sweatshirts for a dollar. They were marked down to a dollar. I bought five pairs of sweatpants and uh, they didn't have any of the sweatshirts in my size. This is a 2X, but I was like, you know what? This is great for just hanging around the house when you want to lounge around for a dollar. How could I leave it? How could I leave it? And I did get the matching pants to this in the right size. So it is something comfy to hang around the house in. And it's the uh, Time and True brand. Yeah. So just thought I'd throw that out there. And I was able to score the ceramic gnomes. That's why I wanted to do the gnome signs last. There are, I think, four colors. I picked up two yellow ones. Yeah, this is yellow. Did you know that? No, these are pink. And yes, I picked up two pink gnomes. So stinking cute. And I picked up two of the blue ones. I know there was a green one. I can't remember whether there was another color. But I got two blue. And I'm not even going to try to pick those up with a one hand. And two pink. But how stinking cute are these? Everything is gnomes. Everything is gnomes now. There was Everything was red truck. Everything started coming out, red truck or pickup truck, whatever. And now everything is gnomes. Not that the truck has gone anywhere, but now everything is either gnomes or trucks. And I love both of them. I love them both. So very happy to get those. I picked up some Easter egg chalk for Caroline. I would get some for Jordan and Madeline, but they live out in the country and there's no sidewalks and no driveways. So not, I mean, there's a driveway, but it's not a cement or blacktop. So I got these for Caroline or even, um, yeah, they'll probably go in Caroline's basket. I might get another one just to have here. So when the kids come here that they can write in my driveway, but you get six different colors and they're shaped like Easter eggs. They come out with these, I think, every year because I think I got them for her a couple of years ago. But they're egg-shaped chalk, six pieces, and love them. That's an Easter gift. Then I picked up this bottle just yesterday. I was working yesterday, and I was unloading some boxes, and I saw this um, water bottle. And they're all in this plastic, so they may be hanging on a hook in your store because they have the little hole to hang on a hook because I was like a lot of times when I'm working whoa a lot of times when I'm working um like what the manager will say Kathy can you take these take the plastic off of all these and I have to sit there and pull all the plastic off of every single piece that's in the box and uh then she goes and puts them on the shelf but I opened up this box and I saw these and I was like, oh, dear God, I got to empty all of those because it was a big box. I was like, oh, God. And then I saw that they have the hanging thing and I was like, yay, they're going to hang these on a clip and I don't have to take them out of the plastic. So let me take this out of the plastic for you guys. Um, when I looked in the box, there were only two colors. For some reason, they were red and green. And I was like, hmm, are these Christmas spray bottles? Because those were the only two colors and the green was a Christmas green. So I just, I picked up the red one. I have an affinity to red um, when it comes to, I don't know. I never, you know, it's funny because I never used to like red. And then I did my kitchen in red. And then now I'm like kind of have an affinity towards it. But it has a nice big bottom. It's bigger than most of the um, other spray bottles that they have. It's wider, and it's got this, like, ribbed design on it. So I got that. I don't know whether I'm going to use it for water, because I, like, spray my hair sometimes when I don't wash it. I just put some water in it and scrunch it up. Anyway, I got it. Then I picked up this... Um, 
Paw Patrol, I went blank there for a second, Paw Patrol bath bomb for Caroline for her Easter basket. She likes Paw Patrol and she likes Sky, and it was pink. So I said, let me get that. I'll throw that in her Easter basket too. And, uh, you know, I got this stuff so long ago, I don't remember. There must have been other Paw Patrol guys, but I just picked up um, Sky for Caroline. Then for the kids to have here, I got some frozen tissues. This is a 74 count of tissues. Now, I don't know if these are that soft. I bought a box of the Dollar, not Dollar Tree, but the no name brand tissues on accident because I always buy the Scotties. And I have them in my bathroom and there's so much coarser and rougher than the Scotties. I'm like, so now I kind of just use them for stuff where I don't have to rub them on my face or blow my nose or whatever with it. But I hope these are soft and they're um, frozen and Caroline will love that. So will Madeline. And then I got this one as well. They both like frozen and LOL. Really cute, cute, cute. I like to have these around for the kids. At least you can get them to use a tissue once in a while. <clears throat> and then here you guys, I'm going to show you the thing that I told you that I have been looking for for well over a year. You're not going to be real excited about this because, you know, you probably just won't. That's all I have, That's all I can say. But I was excited because I've had it on my wish list forever and I was super excited to find it you know it's the little things in life it's the little things in life I just went through my wish list the other day and I I hadn't looked at it in a really long time and uh these were on there and a couple other things that I had found that I didn't really realize was still on my wish list but I was like hey I found those They've been on here so long, I didn't even realize they were on here. So, anyway, you ready? You ready? Da da da! Pink camo toothbrushes. That's it. That's it, guys. Pink camo toothbrushes. They've had the um, boy color camo, like the real camo camo um, toothbrushes out. But I saw somebody haul these pink camo toothbrushes over a year ago and I never found them. And I was like, oh my God, we got the pink camo toothbrushes. I bought three packs of them. I was so excited. Do I need three packs of them? No, I don't. But I can put one set in Madeline's Easter basket. I can put one set in Caroline's Easter basket and I can have a set here. So... You know, I was so excited. You guys are probably like, the poor woman has no life that she's excited over pink camo toothbrushes. But, you know, that's me. And I'm sorry to disappoint. I know you were waiting to see what it was. And the more you asked me, I was like, oh, dear God. They're, they're going to think I'm that crazy. But that's it. That's the thing I've been looking for that I got so excited about. That's it. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you. All right. I picked up another mask. Um, I, I hadn't seen this one before. Um, I like to keep buying masks for my son because he does a lot of... Um, he's outside a lot. And he always, always is wearing his mask. He's very good about that. So, um, I just got this one. I thought it was, you know, more of a manly mask. And I probably could have worn this on St. Patrick's Day, but I didn't. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, I got a really nice friend mail from somebody that I wore yesterday for St. Patrick's Day. I can't wait to show you. I also picked up some of this lilac color paint. It's by um, Rich Art. And it's acrylic paint. And it is four ounces but I hadn't seen this color before I just think it's so springy and I thought um those light up crosses that I would paint my mom's this color 
just to brighten up her room. And so I got this color and I also found this color as well, this blue, which I thought was a really pretty blue. So I thought those were some nice Easter colors that I don't, that you don't normally see in the Dollar Tree. So I picked both of those up. I found in the craft section, I saw uh, Jenny Mao and all these just came to my store. To me, they're pencil or pen holders. Um, you guys are probably going to come up with some really cute crafty thing to do with these. I don't know. You could paint them and put flowers in them. I don't know. You could do a ton of different things with them. But I was like, what? Can you, what? I had to have them. And they were, I, I didn't put them on my wish list, but I was like, oh, I hope I can find those. And these are like three and three quarters inches tall. Really nice. And they're thick. I've never seen anything like this in the Dollar Tree before. So I grabbed two of those. And then I found them in the square as well. Oh my God. So nice. You know, when I got them, I thought pencil and pen holders. But then as I held them up to you and I was like, there's probably more things you can do with them. Yeah, you could make like little plants out of these or do all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I know y'all, I, three and a half inches. This one's three and a half inches. Um, yeah, I am like ashamed of myself. I'm on the Dollar Tree crafting uh, site on Facebook and I look at the things that people make and I am like, oh my God. I, I wish I was that creative. I wish I was that talented. I just look at it and go, wow, that's beautiful. I would have never thought to do that with that. I just... I don't know. Someday, someday, maybe when I retire again, I'll get into all this crafting. Then I found these Crayola Band-Aids. How cute are these, right? I, I saw them on the shelf in the um, health and beauty section, and I was like, oh, somebody stuck crayons there. And then I looked and I was like, oh my God, they're Band-Aids. So Grandma has all kinds of Band-Aids. When you get a boo-boo at Grandma's house, you got your choice of Band-Aids. I got all kinds of kitty Band-Aids. Lots of fun. Then I found these bracelets. I just love the color of this. Such a bright springy pink. And it's like marbleized. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a marbleish, you know, the colors in it. And they also had this one, which is pink and purple. There was another color that I really wasn't a fan of. Not that I wasn't a fan of it. It just didn't. These, I said, yeah, these would be nice to wear in the spring. I like to wear uh, a lot of like bright light colors. Uh, not that I'm saying they look good on me, but I like them on me better. I think it makes me feel bright and cheery and I just like them. <clears throat> oh, I've got a couple more craft items here. I found this washi tape. New washi tape. I'm going to take it out of the package because you know I always do. You know I always do. This has got narwhal unicorns on it. And rainbows. And seals with crowns. So cute. And then I found this one. With the bear and the bunny and the tiger. <clears throat> The bear and the bunny and the tiger and the lion and the hippopotamus. How cute. Look at how stinking cute these little animals are. There's an elephant. Love it. Then I found this one with the taco and the um, day of the dead and a drink and some avocados. That looks like a Bloody Mary to me. It's red and it's got a... Um, 
what do you call it in it? <clears throat> Celery. And it's got, look, Day of the Dead. Then it's got a piñata on it and a flower and a taco. These would be cute to decorate for um, uh, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. I don't know what it's. Mayo, Mayo. I don't know. But May 5th. May 4th. I don't know. It's one of those days in May. And then I found this fishy one. With the little colorful fishes on it. I'm really excited. Dollar Tree has been coming out with some really awesome new washi. And my collection just keeps building and building and building. So cute. Love it. So those will go on my washi tape container. And then I found, I picked up this magnet. Boom. Let's eat. I love this. I wish I had someplace metal to hang here in this room, but I love this black and white pattern. Love it, love it, love it. And it is ceramic. And it's got the big... I think I'm going to have to buy another refrigerator because I have so many magnets on my refrigerator. One of these days, I'm going to show you guys my refrigerator. There is a refrigerator underneath all those magnets, believe it or not. But I will have to find a place, a home for this little number. Yeah. Love that. And then, I don't know why I got these. Thought I might do something with them. I don't know what, but I was like, hmm, these seem bigger than the ones I've seen before. A lot of the other ones are like this. They have they have like a top and bottom. But this time I thought, you know, hey, this kind of looks like a fence. Maybe I could make a fence with it. Or do something like this. I don't know. Something like this. I'll watch the, that uh, Facebook uh, page and I'll, I'll figure something out to do with that because I won't think of it myself. Then I got this, this was supposed to go to Jordan for his birthday and it was in this bag and I forgot about it. But I picked up this Minions nightlight for Jordan to put in his room because I gave um, I gave Madeline a unicorn nightlight and Jordan was supposed to get this one. So I will just put this in his Easter basket instead. So he'll get that. I found this notebook, which I thought was really pretty. Very spring. And it's got the clear plastic cover that has these white little flowers on it. And then it looks like that. This is pretty just as it is. But the flowers over top just really add to it. It's got the, it's spiral bound. This is by Jot. It's lined, of course, and it has 60 sheets. Really cute little notebook to jot down stuff, lists, things to do. Um, then I found something for the girls. Surprise, surprise. Unicorn coloring books. What? Oh my God, I got two. One for each, for Caroline and one for Madeline. And look at these pictures. Nice and big and cute, cute. Just really great pictures in it. And it's pretty thick. Look how thick that is. I mean, it doesn't say how many pages it has. Why would it? But, um... Really nice. And this is by Vision Street Publishing from Weston, Florida. Weston, Florida. I know where that is. And then I found this one, which has a purple cover. It's also unicorns. <clears throat> this is sparkly unicorns, but not. I don't know why it says sparkly unicorns. It's just unicorns. There's no sparkle in the pages or anything. But got two of those for the girls for Easter as well. 
their Easter baskets are going to be like their uh, Christmas stockings. They won't be actual stockings. They'll be... Because I can't help myself, guys. I just can't. Then I picked up this sketch pad of 40 sheets um, just to have in the house for the kids to, you know, draw on or whatever. Just plain white paper. Um, they Dollar Tree carries this all the time. Standard weight. Uh, ideal for dry media, which means you don't want to do painting on these. You can color or draw with crayons or pens or pencils, but I wouldn't... They're saying not paint when they say not for dry media. I mean, ide ideal for dry media. That's what that means. And it's acid-free. And it's Sustainable Forestry Initiative. Certified sourcing, which I think is good. And this is by Dixon Ticonderoga, which is the people that make number two pencils. So there you go. Wow, the wind, the wind, the wind is really howling out there tonight. Next thing, I picked up a couple of Clorox wipes. Uh, you get 15 wipes. They're disinfecting wipes. Kills 99% of viruses and bacteria. Uh, they had Clorox brand and they had Lysol. I picked up two of the Clorox just because I don't know why, but I chose the Clorox over the Lysol. So I got two of those to keep keeping clean. Excuse my reach. <clears throat> picked up a pack of the Fisher Price baby wipes. Gotta have those baby wipes here when Evelyn comes. Um, you get 72 wipes in this. It says, uh, gentle enough for baby's hands, face, and body, which is good. So, Fisher Price brand name wipes for a dollar, and you get 72. That's, that's a deal. That's a deal. Then, I found these, and my manager, actually, she was stocking, and she goes, oh, did you see these? And I was like, what is it? What is it? It's Color Shot Instant Fabric Color for outdoors. And what it shows is you can paint like your, your chairs that are outside. You can paint them. And I thought, oh my God, this is perfect timing. I mean, my chairs are red. And I'm assuming that these are brown since it's in a brown package. I didn't see where it says what color it is. I tried to look. Oh, it says cocoa right on it. Duh. So it's brown. But, <clears throat> but what I was going to say is, um, this one's in here kind of cockeyed. Um, my chairs in the backyard are fading. They're red, but they're kind of fading. And I thought, wow, this would be great to repaint them. Right? What a per and two dollars is all it's going to cost me to have brand new looking chairs. I don't have to go out and buy new ones, I can just paint my chairs and it'll look like I got a brand new set. Um, this is by the Tulip brand and it says Instant Fabric Color. The easy way to add permanent color to your fabrics works best on light colored fabrics, which it is now because it's all faded out. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, it tells you all the directions on the back, exactly how to do it. And I thought I had three originally and I was like, e I don't know well, if it doesn't work. Then I spent $3 on something that doesn't work. But you know what? When I do try it, I will show you guys. I'll try to do a before and after. Hopefully, I remember to do the before because if any of you are friends with me on Facebook, um, I did a wall in my kitchen. I took some of those wall stickers, those gray and white uh, wall stickers that I got. They're like, you know, square. And I did a section of my kitchen and I meant to do a before picture. I didn't think of it until after I stuck the first piece on and I was like, well, no sense in taking the before picture now. But if you're friends with me on Facebook, I posted it and I thought it came out amazing. Amazing. And the whole thing cost me $9. I used nine sheets 
not even nine. I did eight and maybe two thirds of one to do that wall. And it came out really nice, I have to say. Really nice. <clears throat> and I only got a couple more things to show you guys and then hopefully I can get this uh, friend mail done quick because I don't want to run this too long. I picked up some slime. I told you guys I don't buy slime. Um, and I don't. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I don't like the feel of it. It just, I don't get it. I don't know. But this slime apparently is some kind of brand name. Um, this one is different than the other ones. This is from Guava Toys. And it's uh, gross out slime. It's booger, poop, vomit, and bad breath. And I thought that Jordan might enjoy that kind of grossness. So I got this one for Jordan. These are all going to their homes because they're not staying here. And then apparently this girl here, Karina, has a YouTube channel. I never heard of her, but this is by Craft City. You get four different... Wow, I don't know why the lighting is so bad today. You get four different ones. You get this gold sparkle. You get a green. Anyway, this is the mystery slime. One for Jordan. One for Sarah. One for Caroline. There's this orange one. This is also mystery slime. And this one's got a pink glitter one and then some other colors. I don't, I don't, I don't get slime. I really don't. And then there is this one, which is metallic slime. It's black hole, deep sea, flashback, and lava. And this one's got glitter in it, in all of them. Uh, this reflection is really bad. I don't know what the deal is today with the reflection. Don't know. Oh, down here maybe? Don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> these were the four that I picked up. And this is the girl. Apparently she has a YouTube channel. Never heard of her. But I was like, wow, this is um, not a dollar anywhere else not a dollar anywhere else so and the kids like it they can have their fun with it just not at grandma's house um and the last thing in this haul before i show you my friend mail this i was really i was like oh my god i haven't seen anybody else haul this and it i found it on a clip strip in the area where they have the glasses and stuff it's a flask a flask that looks like a phone it's a phone flask what what i'm like oh my god it's a real flask i picked up one for my son-in-law phil because i did probably give it to him for christmas and I picked up one for myself just because I had to check it out. So I am going to open this. I don't know that it actually looks like a phone like this once you take it out of the packaging. But um, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Because I am going to open this bad boy and we are going to find out. Oh my goodness. It looks like a phone. It looks like a phone. So, you know, if you're going somewhere and you're trying to sneak some alcohol in. I don't know how you open the top, though. How does it open? Does it show? It tells you how to wash it. And I don't know how you open it. Let's find out. You know, I should have checked this out. Oh, wait. See the little side button that looks like where you hold your phone? Boop! Oh my goodness. And then you just 
screw off the top and glug, 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 glug. You have yourself a good old time. Oh my God, he's gonna love this. He is going to love this. I mean, what people won't think of. So, it looks like a phone, but it's a flask. What? Let's see, does it say how much it holds? 3.5 ounce flask. Well, you know, honestly, if you're drinking more than 3.5 ounces, you probably shouldn't be drinking out of a flask. But what? It looks just like a phone. It's got the little, like, thing where you could, you could even put an Apple sticker on there. You know, like, if you're going to a concert or something, you're trying to bring some booze in with you. Just a couple of little nips while you're listening. Amazing! And, you know, they don't let you bring that kind of stuff into concerts and stuff anymore. They make you spend, you know, $10 for a, a beer. Um, but, oh my God, I love it. I love it. I should have got more. I found this in... Where did I find this? I think it was in the... East Greenbush store. I'm pretty sure it was the one in East Greenbush on Route 4. Phil is going to love this. He is going to love it. And it's by Drink Mare. Drink, drink meat. Drink meat. That's what the packaging looks like. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It looks like a phone. Oh my god. I'm like amazed. Totally amazed. I can't wait to show my friend Connie that. She's going to laugh. I should have got her one too. Oh my God. And you like, it's a trick to open it. You have to slide this up. Cause I was like, how do you get this open? And yeah, you just pop it up and twist it off and glug, 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 glug. How cool is that? For you non-drinkers, you're probably not even caring, but I think it's pretty cool. And if you have somebody in your life that would like that, I haven't seen anybody else haul it. I was like amazed when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, is that a real flask? Because when I saw it at first, I thought it was, um, I thought it was a fake phone for kids. You know how they have those play phones for the kids? And I was like, oh, what's that? No. And I see the word flask and I'm like, what? So check that out at the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, that's the end of my haul. So we're at 47 minutes. I'm going to keep going. Those of you that aren't interested in my friend mail, it was nice seeing you. I hope you enjoyed my haul. But I do have some stuff that I want to um, be thankful for and show the rest of you guys. Um, first thing I want to show you was this package that I got from Nancy Wareham. And she is from Leesburg, Florida. And she wrote, open now on this which I didn't see right away. And I looked over and I said, oh, that says open now. What's in it? What's in it? So I opened it up and you would not believe how gorgeous this was wrapped. It was wrapped in this blue tissue paper. I just had to show you because it was just so gorgeous. Where is it? She had the K on, like a glitter K on the outside. And then... It was sealed with this, like, wax-looking seals. And I was like, oh, my God, it's so, so nice. I hate to even open it. Nancy, unbelievable. I was like, I wish that I had the time to do that kind of stuff. I, I just love it. I love it. I, like, want to save these little... Oh, maybe I can. Oh, I wonder if these are stickers. They, I think they're stickers. But they look like they were sealed with wax, which I think is really cool. I might even try to save those. Yes, I might. Let me just put that aside. So anyway, I opened it up and it says, for Kathy. And it has a shamrock on the back. And I thought, ooh, this is something for St. Patrick's, I think. And she sent me a nice little card. And it says, <clears throat> Dear Kathy, Happy St. Patrick's Day. The last one of these I sent was too big. So uh, I think I 
I think so. I got a large one this time for you. Hope you aren't working too hard and that you are staying safe and getting to love and be with your family lots. I can't wait for your videos. They add so much happiness to my day and she has the most beautiful handwriting. Look at that. And she's got a little shamrock on the inside, but look at how gorgeous her writing is. I really appreciate people with good penmanship. I really do. I love, I don't know, I just do. I mean, look at how nice, how nicely she wrote that. Absolutely gorgeous, Nancy. And I do want you to know, I wore this yesterday. I wore this yesterday. I wore it to go get my shot. <clears throat> Bam! Look at this. A green pickup truck with flamingos in it. Can you see that? Oh my God. Look at how cute that is. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I wore it yesterday. So... I was going to wear it in this video, and then I was like, well, I wore it yesterday. And then, you know, like I said, I wasn't feeling up for doing a video. And But thank you, Nancy. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. Love it. Then I got this package from Connie Behrens uh from north dakota i can't read the city it's their address is kind of wiped off from the from the uh travel <clears throat> and she sent me this and she sent a card let's open the card let's be polite and open the card first Oh, and she made this little, like, envelope. How cute. I love it. Really, really cute. It's like a little pocket. And I can reuse that. Thank you so much, Connie. And she sent me a 3 by 5 card. And she sent me a little note with this little cutout. Which I'm assuming she did. Kathy, hope this makes it to you and doesn't break like the one you bought. I couldn't find a six, though. Connie Barron's. Thanks for all your hard work. I know you said you like to use pretty napkins, too. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And she sent me these pretty napkins. Hello, spring. And I did not buy these yet. So thank you so much, Connie. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. <clears throat> and this is for Caroline, which I, I'm going to let her open, if that's okay, in a future, in a future time. And this one's for me. So let's see what it is. So excited. So excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't. What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. Now I know. Now I know. Oh, I hope it got here safely. It certainly did a nice job wrapping it. <gasps> it. That wasn't a six, she said. It was a G. She got me the thing with a K. The basket, the wooden Easter basket with a K. Yay. Thanks, Connie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, my stores did not have a K. Mine had a G, but I like the K better because that is my real name, Kathy, not Grandma. Thank you, Connie. I love it. And you took such good care to keep it from getting broken. I couldn't even get mine from the store to my house. And you mailed it all the way from North Dakota and it didn't get broken. Thank you so much, Connie. That was so sweet of you. Thank you very, 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 very much. <clears throat> and I will have Caroline open her gift um, when she comes again, whenever that is. Um, 
But thank you so much, Connie. Let me put my little my little envelope and my note. I'm gonna keep your card out to put in the drawing. I'm gonna put my note back in here though. Put that back in here. Thank you so much, Connie and Nancy. You're both so sweet. <clears throat> and then I got this from C. Frazier, which I think is Caroline from Moline, Illinois. I got this package, which I did not open yet. Did I? Oh, no. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And this says... Oh, no, this is Candace. Kathy, congrats on your new job. Hope you enjoy the new masks. Oh, new mask, new mask. Look at the note is written on here. Thank you, Candace. Thank you so much. Sorry I messed up your name. <clears throat> oh, love new masks. And these are made especially for you by Candace. Look at, she's got a little tag. How cute is that? And there's, oh, an Easter one. An Easter one. How cute is that? And it's got the um, metal thing so your glasses don't fog up. Love it. And then, oh my God, is this the Grinch? It looks like the Grinch with a mask on. I love it. I love the Grinch. Six feet apart. Love it. Thank you so much, Candace. I love these. Oh, this is perfect. I can wear this at work. Definitely vote. This one says vote all over it. Oh, how cool. I can wear this on election day for primary day, which is June 22nd in New York State. Love it. And... Oh my God, I wish I had opened this earlier. I could have wore this on St. Patrick's Day because I was thinking, I can't believe I don't have a St. Patrick's mask. But you know what? I will wear this anyway because I am Irish and I just love it. Thank you so much, Candice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then she sent me the washing instructions. Thank you so much. I love them all. They are awesome. See, I wish I could sew. I can't sew. I can sew a button back on. That's about it. I love all of these. I like how it's got the germs and the like little, uh, not coronavirus things, but like germs on it. That one's really cute with the germs and stuff on it. Six feet, people, please. Stay six feet apart and I'll have an Easter one to wear. Thank you so much, Candace. I love wearing different masks. It's like a fashion statement, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so very much. And then I have some cards. I got some cards, which I love just as much. I, every, you guys are so kind to me. It's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I got this card from Melanie Yan Yankich from Phoenix, Arizona. And it's an Easter card. I can't believe Easter's so close. A special wish for special you. Wishing a joy-filled Easter to someone who fills the world with joy. Happy springtime too. To Kathy and family 
from your friend, Melanie and Babies. God bless you and keep you and your family in his care. And she sent me a, one of the prayer cards, today's prayer. A sweet friendship refreshes, refreshes the soul. It surely does. Thank you so much, Melody. Melody, Melody, Melody. And she wrote me a note, which I'm not going to read. Um, so that will be between us. Thank you so much, Melody. I will put this up. I Whenever I get cards, I always stand them up on my whatever, my uh, tape there or my there, whatever you call those things. Thank you, Melody. And then I got a card from Etowa, Tennessee. I remember that name, that city. I believe happiness is contagious. Oh, how cute is that? And this is from Rosanna Murray. So I sneezed happy germs inside this card. I believe happiness is contagious. So I sneezed happy germs inside this card. Just kidding. Love and hugs from Tennessee, Rosanna. Seen these stickers and thought of your flamingo party you want to have one day. Yeah, one day, Rosanna. One day. And then she sent these really cute flamingo stickers. And it says party on it and everything. Love them. Yeah. Hopefully, I will be able to have that party this summer. And she sent me a giveaway entry. So, Rosanna and uh, Connie, you have more chances at the giveaway. Thank you for the card, Rosanna. Then I got a card from Stacy Berry from Sanger, California. Yes, I did. What? 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 Oh, my goodness. It's full of little goodies. Little goodies. Oh, flamingo stickers. Love them. So I didn't tell you guys. My oldest sister was in Florida for the last few months. I told you she goes down to Melbourne and visits her son where she used to have a house. And she got a flamingo tattoo on her leg. On her whole calf she got a flamingo it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i love it but i was really surprised love these stickers these are awesome again for my flamingo party oh here's another one love them all you flamingo lovers out there and she sent me a thank you card And she sent a giveaway card. Not sure if this is what you need. If there's something more, please let me know. No, nope, this is it. This is all you need to send, Stacy. And she also added her email address, which is good in case she, you know, wins. Hope you know how much your thoughtfulness is appreciated. Oh, thank you. Just wanted to send a little note. I appreciate everything you do. I love watching your hauls, Stacy Barry. Thank you so much, Stacy. And then she put these cute little um, balloon dogs on the inside. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Stacy. And I love those flamingo stickers. I'm gonna put those back in the envelope so I know where they are. Then I got this little card from Betty Shoemaker from Timberville, Virginia. And it's the donuts. Yum. I wish I had one of those right now and a big glass of milk. And Betty sent a giveaway card with her name and address. All right, Betty, you're in there. I love watching you on YouTube. You make my day, Betty. Thanks, Betty. I love when, you know, you guys send a card and just make me feel good that, you know, about what I'm doing. Sometimes I wonder. 
Um, this is from Judith Gibson from uh, Shoreline, uh, Washington State. Washington State. And Judith sent a giveaway card. Dear Kathy, you're the best. See note inside. Wishing you sunny days ahead, Gibby. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Look at this card she made. Look at that. And then you take this out. And there's this beautiful beautiful I don't know what you call it beautiful I'm going blank and it says your kindness makes such a difference thanks for all you do I really appreciate it oh I love that it's beautiful thanks Gibby and I am not going to read your note on on time on the camera I will keep that between us but it's a thank you note. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Gibby. I love this car. I handmade, look, I mean, like what? That's gorgeous. And she put this little paper on it to keep it from, just, you guys are amazing. Amazing. Thank you, thank you for the card. Thank you for the thank you card. Then I got this envelope from Fawn. Fawn, you're killing me. You're being so generous. This is like, I don't know, how many packages? <clears throat> and she sent me something in a plastic bag. Kathy, just watched your video and was sad that you couldn't see my stamping. So... I'm not doing that on the outside anymore. So I'm seeing sen sending you a card to show you that stamping this time. I'm sending a few extra papers for notes or Caroline can make a list. Oh, she loves making lists. I sent the 2021 glasses because I wanted everyone to start this new year with joy. Thank you so much, Faithful Fawn. Fawn! Aww. And she sent some little things that Caroline, coffee cup papers that Caroline can make notes on. And then she wrote a note on this paper, which I love. I love lined paper. I, I just, it just has a, I don't know. I just love lines. I love lines. And then she alternated. I don't want to show you each single one, but alternated with the, um, the different pa papers. Thank you. I you can never have enough paper to make notes on. And then she did this. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stamping. Oh my goodness. And it's green for St. Patty's Day. It's got my name on it. And there's something inside. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's got Ireland on it. Yeah. And I did not drink any green beer this year. Because I, I got my shot on St. Patrick's Day. And I was like, I better lay low this year. Kathy and family, thinking of you and wishing you a St. Patrick's Day as beautiful as the land of the shamrocks. Faithful Fawn. Thank you, Fawn. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's got the Cliffs of Moor, and it's got Galway, Cork. I don't know whether they say Galway or Galway in Ireland, but my sister lived in Galway. That's how we pronounce it here in New York State. But yeah, it's got that on here. Dublin, all kinds of really cool stuff. Belfast, you want to see that? Isn't that really neat? Someday, I'm going to get to Ireland. That's on my bucket list of things to do. Thanks, Fawn. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the papers and the stamping and 
St. Patty's Day card. Thank you so much. I just got my friend Connie's uh, St. Patrick's Day card yesterday. No. What's today? Thursday? I got it today. Um, and this is from Louise. Louise of uh, California City, California. Louise Souza. And Louise sent a card. And Michelle Summer sent a card. And Louise sent another one. And Michelle Summer from Newbury Park, California. And Louise. Look at this beautiful card that I'm assuming she made. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And she said, Kathy and Caroline, hello guys. I watch every time you have a new video. I and my children are from Cali, but have adopted New York as our second home. I've been there since 1961 and had my children all in Buffalo. We absolutely love the East Coast. <clears throat> She only came back when her mother was ill and later passed away. I'm sorry about your mom. As soon as we are able to travel again, we're going to come back. She has 20 plus grands and great grands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Louise. I just love seeing Caroline on your show. She is a, so beautiful and sweet. I've enclosed postcards for myself and my daughter for your drawing. This card was made by myself. Yeah, I thought so. Crafty Granny, a.k.a. Louise. Blessings and stay safe. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank you, thank you. That card is beautiful. Oh, oh, there it is. Beautiful. Thank you. So those, those of you that are still here, I hope you're not too bored with my friend mail. I love it. I just love it. You guys are so awesome. And I got this card from Rochester, New York. <clears throat> Rochester, New York, huh? That's not that far. <gasps> oh my God. Two of my favorite things. It's a postcard from Florida with flamingos on it. Look at that. I love it. Love it. And my second favorite thing, manatees. I love manatees. Love them, love them, love them. Love them. My name is Stephanie. I love your Dollar Tree hauls. They are the best. I hope you have an amazing Easter. Sincerely, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. I love these postcards. I, I can't believe you sent me a manatee. I don't think I've ever mentioned this on this channel, but I am just in awe of manatees. I just think they're so stinking cute. They're just like these big, cute, I love them. I have a bunch of manatee stuff as well. Thank you so much, Stephanie. We must have a kinship or something, you know, that you knew that. And uh, then I got this card from Victoria Jane from Sunnyvale, California. Victoria has been sending me cards and gifts for the longest time. She's so super generous. And she sent me this Easter card. Cute. One of the miracles of Easter time bring... One of the miracles Easter time brings is a feeling of closeness to all living things. The lengthening days warm the heart and the earth in a beautiful season of joy and rebirth. The happy sights and sounds of springtime always seem to bring thoughts of special people like you. May this beautiful time of year fill the hearts of you and those you love with all the wonderful joys of Easter. Thank you so much, Victoria. Happy Easter. Sending Easter wishes and blessings that you and your family will have a joyful Easter. Your friend, Victoria. Thank you so much. 
Dearest Kathy, I hope this card finds you well and safe from COVID. Congrats once again on your new job. I can tell in your videos that you feel more fulfilled and happy with, within yourself. I am so happy for you. I hope 21, 2021 continues to bring you much success. You are awesome. Sending love from California, Bay Area. Stay beautiful. Thank you so much, Victoria. And look at the little sticker she put on the inside. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Victoria. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. I couldn't do this without you. Um, you're the reason I do it. I love this. I love the Dollar Tree, and I love sharing this stuff with you guys. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you over the weekend because it's going to be giveaway time. Giveaway time. So I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Keep wearing your mask. Get the shot when you can. That's my public service announcement for the night. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.